Hello fellow Minecrafters, this is Chicago 5. One of the things I've always wanted was a good timer. And uh, a lot of times the timers that you that you need have to be set for a long period of time. And with a lot of the timers, the longer the time, the larger the timer. Well, I found one that I thought was really good, so I'm going to be showing you my version of it. It's called the Cactus Timer. And I will be using Mighty Pork's Powercraft mod to aid in this. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is lay out a 3x3 grid of sand, because that's what Cactus grows in. Then lay out some. I like using the stone brick, but you could use cobblestone or pretty much anything you want. Leave this one open. Right there, you're going to be placing a uh, wireless receiver, and you will call it whatever you want really I call it the bottom cutter on top of that you will place a harvester like so directly across from it you will place a block and then over here you will place block dispenser and directly across from that you will place another block and then let's see here make another uh, circle of stone around this dispenser place another wireless receiver call that the planter and then let me see ah yes on top of this harvester place two blocks like so on top of this block place a redstone pulsar pulsar and bring it up to 20 clicks I'm sorry 20 ticks to equal one second and then place a uh, harvester on top of that very good that looks good and then let's see here another bit of stone right like that actually this row here I didn't need my bad didn't need that one but we will need one here. Got a little carried away there. There, just like that. And here, here, here. Um, gonna take that one off. Put uh, a conveyor, regular conveyor belt, right there, right there, and then cover the top of that very good right here on the turn put a detector belt like so and then two more regular conveyors like so and 
here. And then a regular, or um, I'm sorry, detector belt here. And then two more regular conveyors. One, two. Bring this up got to have this here so the item don't go flying out that way. It hits this and drops down. Bring this one straight up. Um, like so. And one more. Like so. Like so. Yeah, then you could just uh, fill that in. I guess that's good. All right. Uh, now that's um, another thing I like to do. Well, I like it to be daytime too is I like to put a row of glass on top of it. it makes the whole thing two spaces high you don't have to worry about animals or mobs getting in there yes I know I forgot that one did it on purpose alright now here place your wireless transmitter call that bottom cutter and then here place another wireless transmitter call that one planter now you can name them whatever you want the main thing is this one has to be the same name as the one that's under here. Now I named this one the same as this one. That way the timer will just keep cycling. But what you could do is name this to activate whatever it is you plan on activating. Whether it's uh, releasing a floodgate or opening a door or moving a piston, whatever. And that will take care of it. Um, let's see here, we can put that there, put a piece of cactus in here, like so, and it should be ready. Let's give it a try. Push this button, it should plant it. There it is. Now it's planted. Now, like I said, it takes a long time. Each section of a cactus takes close to 20 minutes to grow. And believe it or not, there is some uses for a timer that long. That's why I made this one. Um, obviously, we're not going to sit here waiting for 40 minutes just to see it work. That's why I got two more pieces of cactus here. What will happen when it grows, it'll get it'll grow up in front of this harvester that will chop off the top of it drop it down into here it'll trip that trigger and then the piece will go right back into the dispenser and ready to go again now when it trips this uh, transmitter the receiver under here will tell that harvester to cut it all down those come out come across this conveyor and for this purpose it will trigger this transmitter which turns on this receiver which plants it and starts the cycle all over again so here's what it looks like in action if I can get close enough there we go there triggered started all over again so every 30 or so minutes that's because I stepped on that um, one thing 
though, is you never really need more than one cactus in here. So basically, instead of having this go back in here, you could have it come out this way to a storage chest to store up the cactus if you plan on making green dye or anything like that. Or you could have just a lava pit there and just drop it in the lava pit. This row here, this run here does not have to go back into the dispenser. This one does, because you always got to have at least one in there. Okay, so that is the cactus timer. I'm sure you guys will find a use for it. I know I did. Hope you enjoyed it. Later.